All right, welcome back everybody to another Go Battle League matchup set. With this one, we're going to showcase a 5 and 0 set. That's right. I went 5 and 0 for this, and I'm just going to go ahead and detail how that went cuz I celebrate the good times just as much as the bad times even though I seem to have more wins than losses. It's like around 60 60% win ratio. But anyway, we're going up against the Mel Metal versus uh Mammoth Swine lead for our first matchup in this set. Uh they go for a bulldoze, I shield it, and then afterwards I'm going to go for uh Superpower spam, and then I'm gonna get ready to catch this bulldoze. I'm just timing it perfectly. Time that switch perfectly, so now Gyarados is gonna soak this bulldoze, does like no damage, and then we go for Dragon Breath spam until they decide to either stay in or switch. But it looks like they're gonna stay in. So, with that said, the Mail Swan's gonna do Avalanche, I'm gonna shield it, and then in comes Zekrom, so I have to go for the crunch here. Yep, it's about burning this thing down before it can get to a wild charge, but fingers crossed that we can actually pull it off. Nope, we couldn't get to another crunch because I anticipated that they were going to wild charge before I could, so I might as well do chip damage with Aqua Tail, and then when they try to knock us out, which they do right here, I can bring in Garchomp just to do some chip damage with, oh, there's a wild charge, some chip damage with uh, Dragon Tail. So in comes Garchomp, they have no shields, and then of course there's a Mammoth Swine. And since it is a Mammoth Swine, I just go straight for the Super Power to knock it out because I figured that whatever they have at the back, Garchomp can handle so I can sacrifice the Mel Metal if needed. And I called it right. It is another Garchomp. So, in comes that. And then, there we go. We just do Super Power Spam here. So a Super Power 1, Super Power 2, and then we go for a third one. And then we hope that it uses a charge move so that like uh, guard, my Garchomp can farm down if needed. See, if I were them, I would have just farmed all the way down, had the charge move ready for my Garchomp to switch in, but they're not me. So there we go, we switch in. Oh, you know what, they did. I knew that they were going to, so I brought the Garchomp in to sacrifice it. I just waited until I had enough energy to do a superpower on the switch in to win. Because, let's face it, a weak superpower would not have been enough to win that battle. And thankfully we did that. But yeah, uh, feel free to leave a like and subscribe as well. Leave, uh, some, leave a comment as well on what team you would like to see next down the line. We're switching the Great League tomorrow, so go off of that decision. Alright, so we have a Mel Metal versus Mel Metal lead. I'm pretty much uh, spamming Thunderbolt to let them go first. And they go for a superpower. I was anticipating that because people like to use uh, their hard move first in this uh, rating bracket. All right, so they did double superpower. I'm going to go for a rock slide here and then follow it up with uh, two superpowers, if I'm not mistaken. So we charge up towards our second superpower. There we go. And then we're going to fire off the first one right here. Excelente. It does like chip damage there. And then we, here we just pretty much hope that they don't shield and they don't so now we just farm down here they're gonna go for a body slam so I'm just gonna let it go through and boom there's body slam now we charge we finish it off with a thunderbolt and then we have a grout on so we're just gonna go for a rock slide I'm not sure why I did that but hey we're rolling with it but yeah here's where there we go so here's where Mel Metal goes down. I bring in Gyarados, that we have Dragon Breath spam, but then they switch into a Mel Metal. So I switch to Garchomp because Mel Metal will go perfectly against this. But since they knew that I had them backed into a corner, they just forfeited. So that's 2 0 for this set. Now we have a Token Kiss versus Mel Metal lead. This is a, usually a good matchup because it's going to make them switch right away. There's just no way that they can win the lead. So they bring in Snorlax. I'm going to go for a superpower here. We fire off this superpower and then we switch right away over to Garchomp just because Garchomp would be a good answer to the Snorlax since we have Melmetal checking Togekiss. Not sure what they have in the back, but we're going to find out in a moment. But yeah, they spam Body Slam. I'm going to go for... I'm going to set this up as well so that like I can win the switch advantage, but I have just enough health to get hit by one charm so that Melmetal can safely come in and not give the Togekiss a chance to build energy. So there we go, we're gonna go for the Earth Power 1 here. Down goes the Snorlax, in comes the Togekiss pred predictably, they get two charms off, I bring in Melmetal, they're gonna switch right away. And then in comes Giratina, and then I have Gyarados to answer against Giratina because it's just uh, Dragon Breath and 
actually Aqua Tail because I'm going to charge towards Crunch and then go for Aqua Tail because you can actually still farm down the Skiratinas with um, Aqua Tail and Dragon Breath. It takes like two Dragon, uh, sorry, two Aqua Tails when it's at the 3668 CP, the level 40 CP range. Level 50, it might be a different beast. You have to actually like require a little more thinking, but yeah, it's just a straight up farm down. And then there, Giratina is going to go for an Ominous Wind. You know what? I think it's an Ominous Wind only Giratina. They didn't have Shadow Ball. Oh, well, I guess that's why I went 5-0 in this set, because I was facing some standard teams. But anyway, we have enough energy charged up so that we can unload two Aqua Tails onto this Togekiss, and then we can make a quick switch into Melmetal and then finish off the Togekiss with Rock Slide for the win. So, yep, that's 3-0 and in this set. Um, another thing I'd like to go ahead and um, show you, show everyone over to would be our comment section. We have a couple affiliate links that be worth checking out, like uh, such as Weevil, BlockFi, Coinbase. Yeah. Anyway, back to the battle. We have Mewtwo versus Melmetal for the lead. The Mewtwo's gonna go for Shadow Ball. And we tank that just fine because Melmetal is extremely bulky. We're gonna go for our Rock Slide here. Boom. Rock Slide one. Charge up towards the second one. Three, two, one. We get the excellent. There's the next Rock Slide. And then here, if I'm not mistaken, we go for a farm down and then that way we have enough energy charged up for like a few more charge moves on whatever switches in. They go for a Shadow Ball, I shield it, and then we farm down the Mewtwo and now we have lots of energy to do pull off two rock slides on the switch in. I didn't see who came in. Was it some um, Giratina? Alright. So yeah, since it's Giratina, I brought in Garchomp because I thought I could use Garchomp as a bait to bring out something that I actually want to take out. And I was right. I didn't really need Garchomp for this fight. So we're going to sacrifice the Garchomp and then bring in Melmetal. And we're just going to spam Rock Slide on this Mamoswine because we can take out the Mamoswine with Rock Slide spam and then possibly shield if need to. We have those the first Rock Slide. They don't shield it. In comes the next Rock Slide. Do they shield it? Yes. All right. So with that said, now we can... I believe I sacrificed the Melmetal here because I don't really need it. I just have Gyarados come in, then farm down the Mamoswine, then in comes Giratina, and then we can just Dragon Breath it down. So yep, there we go. And then that's going to be our next win where we go 4-0 on the set. This Giratina is going to go for Ominous Wind, we're not going to shield it like a boss. And then that should be a W, we're just pretty much waiting for them to get farmed down to zero. There's the next ominous win. We do shield it just in case it was a Shadow Ball, and then that was a win. Alright, on to BG Mala. It's Melmetal versus Gyarados. Another good lead on my part. And then they switch over to Melmetal, so I just figured, should I stay in? Uh, no. I'm gonna go for the superpower, see if we can bait a shield, and we don't, but hey, we bring it to half health, so now we can just farm down or we can just bring in Garchomp and have it soak most of the hits since we don't really need Garchomp. Since we have Melmetal for Gyarados, Garchomp will check the uh, Melmetal. They go for Super Power Spam and then I can just farm it down with Dragon Breath. Possibly burn the shield if needed because if they keep spamming Super Power, I can just farm it down all the way with Dragon Tail. Especially when it keeps dropping its defense. So there we go, and now we have one Outrage ready to fire off on Gyarados on the switch in. As soon as they decide to bring it in, there we go. So there's the Gyarados, we're gonna go for an Outrage and then hope that it doesn't shield it. It doesn't, so there we go, we get farmed down by Dragon Breath, and then we bring in Melmetal to force a switch, and then it's Garchomp, and then they realize that I have him checked. Look at that, that's a good way to go 5-0, you face the mirror team and then you beat them. Well, anyway, thanks again for watching, everybody. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, check out the, affili uh, the affiliate links in the uh, comment section, and uh, share this to everyone. Help us get to 1,000 subscribers and help us achieve monetization so that we can grow this channel together. Yeah, once we hit the monetization, I plan on doing like some sort of a big giveaway as a thank you to everybody. So, again, help spread the channel, help it grow, and we'll see you next time.